So let's try to understand the ASN, how exactly ASN functions and what exactly the ASN is. So as we are discussing BGP, so ASN is actually a very important aspect. And ASN is something we call it as autonomous system number. So that's one thing basically we have. So ASN is actually something that stands for autonomous system and in context of BGP, ASN is actually a unique identifier which is assigned to an autonomous system. So when I say autonomous system, autonomous system is actually refers to a network or a collection of networks that comes under a single administrative domain that has the control over its routing policies. So to define the statement, I'll just write at the point that the AS is actually a group of routers, we can say. AS is a group of routers that shares the similar routing policies. If you enjoyed the content of the video, don't forget to like and share the video and subscribe to our channel. Under a single administrative domain. So what I mean by this point is guys, suppose that if we discussed a, a scenario over here, four routers were there and all these routers are configured with OSPF. In that case, this is a group of routers which is actually sharing a similar routing policies with each other and they are operating within a single administrative domain. So if we are depending upon the BGP protocol and if we are defining BGP for these four routers, in that case, we need to put an AS number. So basically, the AS number is something we can say one more point on that, that an AS typically belongs to one organization. Belongs to one organization. So that's one thing we have, or you can say that it's just like a single or multiple interior gateway protocols may be used within the AS. So I can write that point a single or multiple IGP protocols can be used in one autonomous system, or you can say in one single entity also because it's just you know uh, something the outside world views the entire autonomous system as a single entity so if a as connects to the public internet using the exterior gateway protocol like bgp then it must be having a unique autonomous system which is managed by internet assigned number authority so this asn number was originally a 16 bit number so we we would be having a range for the AS that was uh, you know somewhat around zero to sixty five thousand five thirty five. So if I'll say the range for AS, the range which is given for autonomous system is zero to sixty five thousand five three five. Then cut that. It's 65,535. So that's what the entire range which is given for the ASN number because ASN was initially a 16 bit value that was being used. So there are two types of autonomous systems, guys, which you will usually find. We do have the public ASN and we do have the private ASN. So let's try to see the types of ASN. So talking about the types of ASN, so this there are two types of ASN you will usually see. The first type of ASN you will find is the public ASN. 
so what exactly this public asn is public asn is something that these as numbers are globally unique and these are assigned by the regional internet registries such as rn is there uh, ripe is there ncc is there i'll let you know these things later on so it is something we can say these are globally unique and assigned by the regional internet registries so i'll let you know this regional reg internet registries in the next slide so this public as are used by the internet service providers for large organizations and enterprises to connect their network and exchange the routing information with each other so that's what one thing we have so the range which is given for the public asn is basically the range is that it's going to start from 1 to and it's going to end on 64512 so that's what the range basically we do have for this uh, particular public asn which we do have now talking about the range uh, sorry not it's 12 it's going to be 11 and talking about the second one which is your private as so when i do talk about the private asn guys private asn is something that you know i already mentioned the point previously that uh, asn was initially 16 bit value but now these days 32 bit value is going to come up with the asn part so these private as values are used in internal networks so we'll simply say used in internal networks now what's the reason for the internet networks just for interconnecting the private networks with the organization so just for interconnecting the private networks with organization so that's what one we have and originally it was a 16 bit value so now it's going to be in the 32 bit value so where you will find somewhat like uh, you know a bigger number is there i'll let you know that later on but usually the range which is defined for the private addresses the range we define is that it's going to have the range of 64512 to it's going to end up on 65535 so that's what basically the private we have so the thing is that these private as values are not globally unique we can say they are pretty much similar to the private ips and they are not advertised or exchanged on the public internet that's one more thing so whenever the bgp speakers exchange the routing updates they always includes their respective autonomous system as a part of bgp message i'll let you know that thing in the b types of messages when we will be discussing that so this actually helps the bgp routers to identify the source and destination because bgp is a protocol that purely works on the autonomous system so this asn is going to play a very crucial role in the bgp routing and uh, you know enabling the autonomous systems just to establish the connections and exchanging the routing information from one side to another side or from any source to destination just to ensure that their devices will have proper internet connectivity across the different networks so that's what the concept we have with the autonomous system